We've taken the pie crust out of the oven, and now with our other grated mozzarella cheese, we're going to sprinkle this while the pie crust is hot in the bottom of the pie crust. Now I've used grape tomatoes, which are a longer tomato, and I've cut them in thirds. Now you don't have to slice them in thirds. You can go ahead if you just want to cut them in half, uh, but I just like to have them a little bit thinner. And we're going to arrange these over our grated mozzarella cheese that's on the bottom. Next, we're going to sprinkle our kosher salt over our tomatoes. We're now sprinkling our jalapenos over the tomatoes. And this is to your preference. You know, you can, when you're using your fresh jalapenos, if you're using milder ones, you can put more in. These were actually from our garden, so they're a little mild. That's why I'm putting so many in. If you're using a hot jalapeno, please just mince it and put just a few on there. Now what we'll do is we're going to sprinkle our basil and garlic mixture over our tomatoes. I use my fingers with my mayonnaise and cheese mixture because I want to crumble it and put it all over the top of the pie. And to finish our pie, we're going to sprinkle chopped pecans on top. I have my oven still preheated at 375 for baking the crust. We're going to place this in the oven. You'll want to cook it anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes. It's going to be on uh, how much of everything you actually put in your pie. You want it to be bubbly and the last five minutes, you'll want to take off your uh, aluminum foil ring and let your crust actually brown. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven and I'll be back.